I have returned. I live again. I used Himiko's blood, so I was worried that maybe I turned into an old woman. But here I am, revived as my young, healthy self. I am immortal. No one can kill me now. I have finally obtained the ultimate baneful blood. That old hag is gone too. Now all I need to do is kill those sisters and everything will be perfect. I, uh, I'm going to mince you up good. And then, as Saki weeps over your bloody pieces, I'll slowly, lovingly send her right after you. Let's get to it. The baneful blood hunt begins. Alright, straight to the point with her. Worthless undead. Get out of my way. Let me through. Pathetic substitutes like you aren't needed anymore. I'm going to hunt something better now. Hunt humans. Look at that strut, though. Hey, move, or I'll cut you all down. Huh? Why won't you do what I say? You are the slaves of the baneful blood, after all. Ha, very well. It's a pain, but I'll kill you all. Come on, then. Come and get me. You can help me celebrate my return to life by being chopped into pieces. Let's have some bloody fun. Alright, Misery's story so far. Much simpler. But oh, her hair is so tall I can't see past it. Alright, I can press the C button on the check perform a mode change, switching in and out of expanded sword mode. Speed is sacrificed in order to allow overpoweringly long range attacks, causing multiple hits. Alright, so let's just try it. It's already pretty long. Oh, look at this fucking slash range. It's huge. Is this not already very long range? Look at it. This is, it's definitely a different sword combo than the other girls have. Which is good, because it's clearly a very different sword. It's not just the katana that everyone wields. It's just this huge-ass buster sword. And look at how gigantic the fucking range is. And you want me to sacrifice speed to get more range? That's absurd. I'll, I'll definitely get around to doing that, but... This seems like a lot easier. To, uh, do the critical hits too. Not that I'm going to bother trying, but because there's so much wind up. Yeah, there you are. I I like Misery a lot. I think she's cool as tits. She's got this nice dress. She's got cool hair. This gigantic sword, and she's just she's got one thing in mind, and it's killing. And like I, I feel like I'm just I'm just a nice dress away from uh, being completely related to this character. In fact, this might be a character I can get away with not locking on with because of her range being so big. Well, actually, that that first attack has little to no range because it's a horizontal or it, it's a vertical slice. It's really the second one where it all comes together. Now, whereas the other characters had a thing for their the ones, okay, yeah, the right the right button doesn't appear to do anything. The D-pad, right? That is still have the up taunt, but left, down, and right do nothing. I also like that her sword is covered in spikes. Like you could have just given her a big sword, and it would have been fine. But no, it's got to be covered in a lot of spikes too. Which I feel like would kind of make it harder to slash with. Because with all those spikes in the way, it would be really hard to cut through something, because that would that would cause some uh, resistance. Whereas if you were to use it as like a bashing weapon, you could bash someone real good with that with the spiky side. Also, her run looks a little stupid when you've seen it for, for a while. And like just one slash. Why, why did you guys spawn way over here? Ah, oh, sometimes it takes two. Okay. Yeah, 
Harem does, does look a little silly. It's weird because like sometimes there's like enemies that spawn as you approach, other times they're just around. I mean, I guess it's some variety, but when it comes down to it, it really doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm coming back for the balls. Oh, I guess you guys are here. I might as well. But yeah, it was it was pretty cool having four playable characters in uh, Z2 Chaos, though. They all played v fairly differently. Actually, no, I'd go so far as to saying they all played very differently. And the fact that, I mean, like, we already have the switching between the two sisters in uh, the previous title, but... And I think it's just two. I think you switch between just two in, uh, in Z. But in Z2 Chaos, you gotta switch between four. And what, what was particularly cool about that, a little, a little technique I picked up along the way is, uh... If you were playing as one character, and, you know, you got your special meter up, which I think was a lot easier to obtain in uh, Z2 Chaos... If your character started doing like a special move that took control away from you, like say it was just like a, a long like slashing spinning animation, you could actually switch character at that time and uh, the character you were just using that's still doing that really long animated move is still doing that move, still slashing the place up, but now you're also additionally slashing as the character you've just switched to. And if you're really building that bar good enough, you can have like a number of special moves coming out at the same time. Where you have like a couple of girls just doing their moves. And then you can switch to the next one. Start doing some slashing, then do their move, switch to the next one. And I really like that. I, if I recall correctly, because again, it's been ages since I've played it. There was even a, uh, a state you can go into where you just summon all of them at once and the AI just controls the other ones, and it's, it's just real cool. Stupid bird. My sword range is too high. You cannot escape. I'm gonna just assume this is the way to go without checking the map, because there's zombies this way that haven't been killed. Or undead, rather. I feel like the word zombie, like, never comes up. Except in the title of the game. But that, that could just be because the people naming it and the people actually uh, working on the translation could have been different. Like sometimes when you'll like uh, when you'll have like a, a west like an obviously western made adaptation of something, and it'll be like it's clearly made on limited information. Because I remember at the at the last anime North, they uh, there's a bunch of songs from like uh, the original Pokemon soundtrack that people had submitted. I would never submit that. Don't ever think that. And uh, and like the lyrics were super vague. It's like, yeah, this is like, it's just going on and on about what the show is about. But it's like, they don't have enough information to write a song accurately describing the series. Oh wow, blood mode now, okay. I haven't even done my extended sword yet. I, I was thinking of just saving that for the next level completely. I, I figure since this game has so little going on, I'm gonna I'm gonna slowly introduce myself to the mechanics. I'm, I'm probably going to find out that the extended sword mode is fucking amazing. I should have been using exclusively that the whole time, but who knows. Especially in this nice, close area, but like, like clearly the range is all, already so big. Like, is it just, is it just a, is it just a gun after that? Like, I can't, I just can't imagine the range getting much better. Like, for example, at at the end when I when I'm surely able to level up the uh, vitality power skill and reach I'm probably not even touch reach like I like I didn't bother touching reach with uh, with Reiko because it's a she was using guns so <laughs> the reach is already gun length 
Draco's reach is so big I'd see like that last one was so far away. Let's just test this out here. Yeah, that range is so big. The first couple missed, but as I, I got a little bit closer each time and it's like, yeah, that's big range. The reach does not need to be upgraded. I don't want to die though, so maybe how far is it to the end of the level here? Okay, it's not much further. In fact, maybe I'll just kind of rush there now. Just so I can go without using an item but still not die. I might get locked in somewhere, I don't know. Or it's just right here and I don't need to worry about it. Yeah, that's the case. See, so yeah, just, just reach seems pointless. I'm not going to put anything into that. And skill has always been kind of vague about what it even unlocks. Well, I guess just these for now. I can't believe this. There aren't any humans anywhere. I can't test out what Himiko told me like this, can I? Where are you? Where are you hiding, humans? Don't tell me. That Anna woman is working against me. Or those rotten sisters. Ugh, what's this? Pain throughout my body? What's happening to me? Uh, does this mean I'm not fully revived yet? Or is this something else? Blood. I need more blood. Even undead blood. I just need more blood. Yeah, it's just that's just pure villain right there. What more do you need? Of course, you got all sorts of... Okay, now it's... Now it's oh, look at this. It just... Look at how badly it moves around. All right, let's... The range doesn't even seem that much better. <laughs> Although it, it is very strong and very cool. It's got that purple warp on it. Ah, uh, yeah, that range is a bit better, I guess. Look at this huge group, perfect for using it. Oh, and it builds the meter super big too. Look at that big meter, girl. Let's go ahead and do this thing. Oh, that's it? It's just a big explosion? Yeah, that's her special. It's just a big explosion. Big area of effect explosion. That's fine. It doesn't even sacrifice that much speed. Yeah, I think uh, I think Misery is the coolest fighter. <laughs> Normally, I'm all about the fast fighting. Like, dual swords was cool. I like daggers, I like punches and stuff. Usually, I'm not about the big swords at all. But I'm really turning around with Misery here. It's a fucking big old chain sword covered in spikes. It, it's just cool. Misery's doing it. Thanks for doing it, Misery. You're the real hero. That's the end of that stage. I see. If I don't carry on bathing in blood, I can't maintain this body. That's an interesting twist. Kill to live, hunt to live. Fight until there is no prey left. And that will be the end of me, too. Hardly. What I would call immortality. Ah, but hold on. I still haven't tried human blood. If I hunt some humans... I may be able to stabilize my body. And if that doesn't work, I'll consume Saki's baneful blood, if I have to, to stay alive. Where are you? Where? Where are you, humans? Intermingling Red Rivers. Yeah, let's... I like how there's not much of a change. Like, her body doesn't change at all. It's just the sword breaks apart and gets all goofy looking. Oh yeah! I think uh, a, a previous topic thing that I just lost track of was uh, my rant about Musos. How I would never play a Warriors game. Actually no, that's a lie. I played uh, Fist of the North Star Ken's Rage on the PS3. And that might as well be a Warriors game. But uh, despite thinking that Muso games are trash, I, uh, I really warmed up to Onichimbara and Sender and Kagura, which are just Musos at the end of the day. How dare you block? My kick probably doesn't have as much range. I gotta close that distance a bit. 
And like by by the time I realize they're blocking, it's they've stopped blocking. You know what? I feel like the the amount of speed that I sacrifice is just enough for these assholes to start blocking, and that's annoying. Cause it was like after every combo, he was able to block again. That was too annoying. Yeah, drop that gate. I got shit to do. I got places to be. Uh, this way. This is where I gotta be. So I guess, uh, I guess for just groups, uh, groups of randos, I'll just do the big sword and just kind of cleave my way down the hallway. When it comes to those annoying fast specials, it might be best to get that what little speed I sacrifice back. Just to, just occurred to me how I'm gonna deal with the with the mud men. One, two, three. Okay, great. <laughs> well, as you've just seen, I have solved the problem. The the mud men problem has just been solved. I can still do the grab. Her combo is only like three hits anyway. Yeah, so it's even easier to do. Cause see, whereas normally the game might accidentally go into that fourth slash, there's there's gonna be a bit more uh, a bit more time where I'm able to input the uh, the thrust forward. That's real handy. So I guess she'll be the best at grabbing hearts, which makes sense since it's a pretty vicious thing to do and she's kind of the vicious character. And even though I was saying that I, I really don't care for large weapon characters, I do really like this style of character where they're just a bit unstable and crazy with violence. I just like it, it's cool. It's super simple, definitely cliched, but it's like, hey. It's it's just fun. It's just wild and fun. Yeah, see these guys they can they can easily start blocking mid combo and I'm not a big fan of that. Now you. Now you're a problem. I don't like having problems. Nobody likes having problems. I got ninety nine problems, and a slow combo is occasionally one of them. Also, I'm pretty sure she shouts Shine during combos an awful lot, which is just die. I'm all about that too. <laughs> when when the, when their barks are just die and death and kill and all that stuff, that's good. That's like a Bakugo from a, from a, what's it called? My Hero Academia. He's just he he his character just leans right into the stupid level of of edgeness. And although that's definitely a commentary on Maximum Edge, it's fun. I like it. I think it's kind of the same thing when you're playing as Mirai, as uh, in Center and Kagura. He just says die a lot. Which is very violent and vicious, and that's clearly how I like it. So that, uh, I think uh, the first session, Aya's story, ended up being like two hours. Saki's ended up being just a little under two hours. Uh, Reiko's just now was like an hour and a half. I don't really know why I'm sharing this. It's, it's kind of irrelevant, but uh, I don't know if I'm just getting faster at this. Maybe I'm skipping less combat. And I mean, I probably could get away with skipping. Oh, I could have gotten away with skipping combat as uh, Reiko because her, she just had the guns and boss battles were pretty trivial. So that would have been a good way to save time. I don't think I can save much time as Misery though. I feel like I might need the stats a bit more. But what's done is done. I can't go back and, and do the Reiko one faster. Well, I mean I could, but I mean I've already streamed and recorded it. It's already done.
really is a pain picking up those fucking yellow balls all the time, too. Wish they just magneted towards me a lot easier and faster. Oh, I can, I can switch mid-combo, too. It's a little tough, since my fingers are not set up on this controller for that. All that time you had to block and you failed to do so, the other specials do it just fine. I feel like those ones with the chainsaw should be a special too. Maybe they were and I just forgot. Look at that, that's just damn satisfying. Yeah, playing as her is just way satisfying. Like, you're able to hit a lot more guys at a time. Playing as a Reiko with her gun, since it has penetration, you can just kind of line them up. But then Misery is just also fun. Yeah, I don't know, I just... <laughs> I think maybe the, the main girls just... Just aren't as fun anymore. It's getting worn out. Your time is over. We gotta do the special ones now. I'm pretty sure you have the option to play as a uh, Reiko and Misery in the 361, but not in a story mode. Because I think I think it even had a. Uh, I think the idea was there was DLC that made them playable. But only in like free play or whatever. Can the Wii even connect to the internet? Because <laughs> we gotta keep in mind this thing really is trash. Oh, we're already doing the thing. That's that's pretty soon. I don't think I'm really ready for this. I mean, I'm already pretty OP. Oh, my power increased. I don't get a lot of those. Maybe you only get them during this mode. I don't know. Because I know, I know there's certain pickups that just straight up put up a stat instead of just putting up your experience, which you later on use to put up stats. You guys are annoying. If I don't have to fight you, I'm just going to go ahead and leave. See ya. Time is a ticking now that I have the, the mode changed. But it's like I also want to take advantage of it. It's like it's a race to make it stop. But at the same time, I also want to stick around and appreciate the advantages it gives me. I like to start by just going to one end so they can all kind of file towards me. Because usually, uh, when you approach one of these, you're in the middle at the time of it spawning. I like to just create a big old, big old row. Line up to get your ass kicked. See, like, these guys, they're lining up nicely. This dickhead's blocking, though. Because he's a dickhead. little skittery bastards. What were they called? I forgot what those skittery bastards were called. The only- I- well actually I uh, I actually did the editing for the first session today and the only one I remember is murder because of how fucking stupid it is. I think the little hoppy guys were just called beast. I don't know about these guys though I forgot. Which kind of sucks because they're actually a pretty, like, work went into their design. A little bit of thought went into it. And I want to give credit to that. So while, while I've been mindlessly slashing away and, and accomplishing little else, uh, one thing did occur to me that this one is lacking is uh, mini-bosses. I mean, the only bosses we've encountered were, uh, I mean, the four playable characters. Really. Whereas uh, the 361, we had like a like a big guy that showed up at a graveyard. We had like a, the men in suits that were pretty cool. But uh, yeah, it's it's not just it's not just story and cutscenes that this game is sorely lacking. It's uh, just boss battles too. 
There was that big whale boss that was a real problem in the 361. The big guy in the graveyard, like I said. We had a uh, men in suits. And then of course the playable characters that we've encountered in, in this. But like that's pretty much it. They're not a whole lot, but they're just absent for whatever reason. And I mean the more the more I play this, the more I'm pretty sure we're not going to encounter a CG cutscene of any kind. Because although I did definitely see some CG action happening in the, uh, the little demo reel that plays at the when at the press A and B because it wants you to hit both buttons at once at the I guess we'll just call it the press start screen at the press start screen there there absolutely was like a demo reel that kind of plays and it has some CG in it but like where is it? Does it want me to do all four of these characters and then get a two sisters mode? Or is that just not going to happen at all? I feel it. I feel them. I can smell the blood of humans through every pore in my body. Finally I have found them. Now, now I shall become complete. The ultimate life form. <laughs> I need to drink it. Quickly, give your blood to me. You humans exist to be hunted by me anyway. Himiko, you hag. Are you watching from the beyond? You can't stand it, can you? To see me achieving the ultimate baneful blood, I'll soon become that which you never achieved. Who's it to be then? The first human to feed my hunger. It's probably going to be Reiko. Because, I mean, I saw her face in the, in the thumbnail of this chapter. The taste of blood. But first we need to kill some more undead because what else would we do? Remember when we were expected to aim at the screen? That was that was terrible. That's the other thing we could be expected to do. 